Our hearts go out to the Valencia family. This is unnecessary. It shouldn't have happened. This is how the chairman of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Stephen J. Klubeck, concluded this morning's press conference. Combat sports are just that. It's not a joke. Serious. Klubeck began with a clarification, saying the Nevada State Athletic Commission did not sanction nor have jurisdiction over the Fight Night charity boxing event organized by UNLV's Kappa Sigma fraternity. But he intends to find out who signed off on it and how much they knew. With regard to the university having knowledge of this and accepting and allowing this, well, go speak with the university and the Board of Regents. They got a lot of explaining to do, in my opinion. Um, they cannot duck hide Bob and weave on this. Only then, Klubeck says, can the Athletic Commission get answers to the many questions surrounding the death of Nathan Valencia, including whether there were medical personnel or paramedics on site. We did not sanction this, but they should have had proper paramedics and medical personnel at the event. The experience and training level of the referee in the ring. We must find out. If this referee's ever been licensed, I've heard various reports that uh, the referee was acting a certain way. We don't know and can't be conclusive of any of this, but we will find out. And the circumstances surrounding the student boxing matches. Were there proper matches between them made? We don't know, but we will find out. Were the students under the influence of alcohol, drugs? We don't know but we will find out. Now, the attorneys for Nathan Valencia's family say that they welcome the investigation by the Athletic Commission and they want to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. We did reach out to UNLV and the Nevada System of Higher Education to try and get some answers. UNLV said that the university will cooperate with the Athletic Commission's investigation, but has no additional information to share at this time. And we still have not heard back from the Board of Regents. Live in the studio, Ross D. Matei, 13 Action News.